I've gotten a number of questions recently on how to best utilize external MIDI instruments with a typical VST instrument workflow. So let's go ahead and take a look at some tips and tricks that can help us out. I recently received a Yamaha Reface DX keyboard and I have that connected to my computer via USB. And that would handle the MIDI transmissions in, to and from the device. So if I wanted to record MIDI, I could right click and choose to add MIDI track. We'll click on add track and I wanted to send the output of that track to my Reface DX. So now when I hit record, so we recorded this MIDI information like so. Now if we wanted to have more level of detail for that device, for that external instrument, we could define it within our MIDI device manager. And we go to our studio menu. In previous versions to 9.5 would be your devices menu. And then we could select our MIDI device manager. So I'm going to click on install device and we see a large number of devices supported. If you don't see your device, you can often download it from a manufacturer website or different websites where people have shared these. So I have my Yamaha Reface DX device. And what I want to do is to actually define the MIDI output port where it's connected, like so. Let's say I have an older Roland JV-1080, kind of a workhorse instrument, and I wanted to use that. I can now define my JV-1080, select it, and say this is connected to my Steinberg UR44 port one. So if I wanted to add a MIDI track, and let's say this track I want it to be sent to my JV-1080. We can see how it's been defined here with the physical MIDI connection port. So now when I click here, this is automatically going out to the JV-1080. Now, within that list, one of the things that's really handy is we could actually, right here where it says off, if we click in that field, you could see all the factory presets for your different devices. And you can make your own list. You can, again, download these from online. So if I wanted to define this particular instrument to go out to a different patch at this point, I could select to our Yamaha Reface. And this is what we defined in our MIDI device manager. And I could see all the factory presets just laid out for me like so. As I played this instrument back, the MIDI is being transmitted to the Reface DX, but it's not, uh, we don't hear it. So a lot of people get thrown off by this. So often, so the Reface DX is generating the tone and we have to take the output of the Reface DX and monitor it somehow. Often people use external mixers if you have a lot of MIDI devices. But one thing that Cubase has is this concept of an external instrument within it, the connection. So. We're gonna to go to our VST connections in older versions in 9.5, we go to our audio connections and we want to go to the external instruments tab and we're gonna click add external instrument. We'll just call this Reface DX and we're gonna have, let's say one return and let's go ahead and associate the MIDI device that we created in our MIDI device manager with that device. And what we want to do is to physically connect the audio outputs of the instrument to inputs of our audio interface. So once again, the outputs of the instrument to inputs of the audio interface. So I have this connected into inputs five and six of my UR44 interface. So now I can come here and I can add an instrument track and as I do this, we have external plugins. So I could add my Yamaha Reface DX and select that. We could actually have a gain and all the latency is gonna be compensated for. And it'll show up in our instrument rack like so. So I could select my instruments here, see my external plugins, et cetera. So now when I go ahead to record,
we could hear the actual audio because it's part of the Cubase audio engine now. So the input is monitoring the output of the external instrument. Now, once this has been done, we could choose to freeze the track. We could, you know, do all sorts of things like also effect processing. So let's go ahead and just put this into a quick loop and we'll go ahead and open up our channel. So if I want to apply EQ, if I wanted to add, let's say some cor coursing, some modulation effects on the insert. So I can say, let's just add a bit of coursing. And let's add an effects channel sound for a delay. So we'll just come here, let's say stereo delay. And let's, let's give it a quarter note delay like so. So we can run this through our audio engine, just like we would any other audio source or virtual instrument. So if I wanted to freeze the track, but the beauty of this is I could also just go to my render in place option. So like I guess I want to complete with the full signal path. I could mute the source tracks and then choose to render. And when I do this, it's actually going to render it in real time because it's sending the MIDI information out. and capturing it. So now we can see our render track. The other track has been muted. And when we go to play back that track, it's just like we're working with a virtual instrument, even if it is an external device. So you can see how if you wanted to record external instruments and route the audio out through mix consoles, like kind of a more traditional way of working, you could do that very easily. If you want a deeper integration with patch management using the MIDI device manager and incorporating it within the VST mix engine in the audio engine of Cubase, we could have it connected as an external instrument, allow you to work with external devices in a very similar workflow to using virtual instruments. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.